Junior, enter the flip side will be an incredible update and today I'm going to prove that to you. Hello everybody, I am the L7 animatronic and for this video I am going to show you some brand new teasers and a very nice video about the Junior's new update. Until now, Junior's is my favorite FNAF fun game. It is also very special for me because I help it to divulge it. Did you know my name is in the end credits of the game? That's cool, huh? Now, without any further ado, the first detail is that the game is being completely remastered in 3D. But L7, wasn't the game in 3D already? Actually, they used false 3D, that is, they used images and GIFs to give the impression that the game was 3-dimensional. Now they use real 3D, because they changed the program from Click Team Fusion to Unreal Engine 5 which is a very advanced program for developing 3D games. Now, take a look at this video they uploaded on YouTube and just see how the office is looking way more natural in the movements, the lights, etc. It's looking really good. And at the end we even see a creepy endoskeleton. And they not only come to us, but also interact with the office, which is great. That interaction is something that is missing on many usual fun games because of the way they are built, you know. But on 3D, that can be really expanded. My only worry is if the game gets way too large and theoretically some weaker PCs will not be able to play it very well, but we'll have to wait and see. Now let's get into the teasers. Before showing the most recent ones, I'm going to show you the ones that were uploaded a few months ago, because I haven't shown them on my channel yet, and I think they are still important. First of all, the image that you're seeing now came with some descriptions, and I chose two of them that I thought were more, in more relevant. I established it in the original announcement post, this DLC will be including a massive expansion to the Barons, Custom Knight exclusive challenges and hauntings, improved and expanded story slash lore for fans and theories alike, and so much more. And here it says that the new hauntings can cause alterations on the camera names, in the office, on the conveyor and also in audio, which is really cool. The next teaser shows Paul Bear's vision like he, if he was waking up in the Barrens just like the player does in the original version. We still don't know if we will be able to play with him, but it, it is a, a nice idea anyways. At the background we can see a car that looks smashed, abandoned, old. We don't know if this will be a part of the lore or if, if it is just a part of the scenario, you know. In this image, we can see that the camera is deactivated. The ghost could do that already, but here you have a little impression that the camera is slightly different. I think it was a complete black screen in the original version. In this image, it is glitchy. It could be just an aesthetic decision or even a brand new mechanic. The next teaser is very interesting in the lore's perspective. Highlighted, we have a popcorn vendor. I'm not sure who that is. I don't think he's the one from the original version. What really matters is that at the background we have more people, which could leave us some hints. Maybe it is his family, who knows. He has a sad, dark expression. It looks like he's not very happy with his job. Uh, I can't really tell what's happening there. We don't have many details yet. I think everything will be more clear when the DLC comes out. Oh, and it's very important to note that it seems that it's happening at a theme park or something alike. I honestly do not remember about anything like that being mentioned on the original Junior story. And how that's going to fit, I really don't know. The next image doesn't help that much. It's some type of monument with water dropping from it or some type of distortion. And what the hell does that mean? I have no idea again. Everything I can note is that there are some more little houses here and the variants are being way more expanded than before. 
and there's a dude at the corner. He's really fighting the image, we can see him really well. For me, it looks like he's wearing a tie, and perhaps he has grey hair, which makes me think that he was a manager of juniors, or maybe the owner, or he's a dead relative of the player, or even Henry's, or Williams, or just an old employee. With all of that being brand new, all I can do is give some guesses and nothing more. Before the teasers get really insane, we still have this image. It shows the bearings again, and we have these monument things again. They are not any familiar to me. I can't even describe this. It looks like it has size now and some teeth, I don't know. It looks like one of the animatronics. If you have a more elaborate idea about this, please write down in the comments and save me. Now we got into the most interesting teasers and the most recent ones as well. Beginning with this image of many robotic mannequin hands coming out of the screen of one of the monitors. A transition between the bearings and the real world of the game. That's incredible. We had seen something like that in the banner of the game already. But it looked like more of the hand of the ghost instead of a robot, perhaps. This image is very intriguing because it was saying that... That it was a work in progress on night 6. Now, if the night will stay that way or not, I don't know. There's chance of this being just a test. Or it could be that the night 6 will be a mix between the virtual world and the real world. Which is also good. But this image didn't really came with a lot of description, so we don't really know. The next content is a GIF, and apparently we are running away from something, and we turn around and we see... Uh, this. Hmm, maybe that is Paul Baird's relief sock, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jokes aside, I think this little mascot will help us through the game, or maybe even get in our way. Or they are just a distraction? I don't know. It looks like a foot inside of a dog puppet. I really can't tell what that is. The interesting thing that we can think about is that maybe he's another spirit, just like Paul Bear. Or he was just created inside the bearings, somehow, like, digitally. We actually need to wait until the DLC comes out to even understand how these bearings thing work. Because the information we have now is very limited. We can't really tell it without completely guessing it. But anyway, are you ready to see the most epic teaser in the list? Because what we are going to have now is absolutely insane. I had already imagined him, but I could not think that he would be included in the actual game. That it would be an official idea. Are you really ready to see this teaser? Of course you are, so here it is. We now have a junior version of Springtrap. I wouldn't be able to think of how scary he would look until I saw this image. He looks so good. It seems like they tried to give him a clown look with this ruffle around his neck. He is looking really beautiful. Talking about the render, you know. Increasing the brightness, we still can't see that much of him because of a technique in the renderings of the image. But we can see a little bit more of the details in the part that is lighted up. And man, he's looking really, really good. Full of details, advanced graphics, much more detailed than the original. In case you didn't notice, this image references an original teaser from FNAF 3. About the look, I found it really interesting the fact that his snout is thinner than the original. That gives him a larger smile and a more maleficent appearance, if you can see that as well. I think with the original snout he would look creepier, but with the thinner snout, he gives the impression that, that there's life inside that costume and he's an evil guy coming after us. I can barely wait to see him inside the game, it will be really epic. How about you? Like his design as well? Comment down below. Before finishing the video, I would like to mention that the Junior's team created a website called JuniorTeamGames.com, which imitates ScottyGames.com. 
I will put a link for you to give a look because it looks really really interesting. And with that, I am ending this video here because I think I showed everything I wanted to show you. And I know you are pretty excited for this DLC as well. So people, thank you so much for watching until here. I hope this was a good video after several months without recording, I know, it's been complicated. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Merry Christmas if you celebrate and a Happy New Year for sure. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time.